Hey everyone, so I have this GPS that I stopped using recently. I somehow got some oil in here and uh, wanted to try to uh, fix the screen. I know it's doable, but I don't know how good it'll come out. So I'm going to open this guy up and uh, see what I can do. So it has these four tiny torque screws. Uh, have one of these tiny bits. I'm not sure of the size, but it's similar to what uh, people use for iPhones and stuff. And actually, I got this this specific tiny screwdriver from getting a screen replacement for an iPhone uh, a while back. Let's get these screws out and let's see what's happening inside or internally. Let's see if it's even possible to crack open that screen and kind of clean all the gunky uh, oil that got in there. Oh, screws are really tight in there. really tough okay one last screw let's see what happens There you go, finally got it. Wow, that was quite annoying. Alright, let uh, me crack this open. Let's crack this guy open. And let's see what's inside. These should, there you go, they just pop right open. And, wow, I almost damaged that. <laughs> so be careful while cracking this open. I almost ripped uh, this connector here. So always be careful when you're opening <laughs> electronics like that. So internally it doesn't seem like anything went inside oil-wise. And since I have it open, you can definitely see that there's definitely some nice gold. And this GPS, the pins here, all around the trim, a little bit of everywhere, a little bit of gold everywhere. So now there's these little things here that are kind of holding holding the screen in. So let's pop it out and see if there's even a way to kind of crack it open. So what I'm seeing here is that there's tape all around and the oil even got into that somehow. So let's take this tape out and see if we can get into the actual screen and it seems like it's coming out pretty easy. And I think there is a way to crack it open. See there's little bends here, little tabs and stuff. Maybe we can pry it open, see what we can do. I'm getting all this little tape stuff out so we can expose the sides. 
like that we can kind of get into the clips and uh, while you're doing this just be careful like I said not to uh, damage or rip anything <laughs> like I almost did before alright so now I'm kind of kind of putting it in there putting the knife in there be careful with the, the box cutter type knife because uh, they're quite dangerous there you go so I'm kind of opening up the screen and let's see if we can clean the gunk out and seriously I, I'm very surprised how the gunk got in there just because of how well these things are made and closed so we got that part of the screen off and there's definitely some gunk there but I don't think we can get oh yeah we could we can still get a little bit more inside you just have to be really careful with this here I think I'll put some tape just to avoid anything ripping some scotch tape just to give it a little more strength that nothing rips at least we're hoping and if it does it's gonna go to the scrap pile I was stopped using it so got myself another one yeah we can do something we're, I'm popping it out and yeah there you go so we got this main screen open and the oil got in over there I don't know if this is even going to be possible to clean I'm trying to kind of feel my way but I really doubt that this is go oh, wait I got something here all right there you go we got the film out let's see and there you go it's right here there's all sorts of oil in here now I don't see how this could be clean <laughs> Like this is like within layer, within every layer. Like there's layer and layer of screen here that needs to be cleaned. I don't know how. I don't know how clean I can get this. Like I'm removing a layer and layer here and I think that was the last there might be one more layer in there. Oh yeah, there is one more layer. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it though. I think I'm going to do more damage to it than uh, than any good. Let's try. Let's move this stuff out. Have the tape there. Let's pop this back screen of this back casing here and see if we can get into it more. Well, there you go. Well, I think I'll be able to get to that last screen by popping this little thing out. I have to be careful not to rip anything. There you go. Got most of it done. And there you go. We got the back where it's all 
yucky and gunky. So let's see if we can actually clean this. So I have, this is all like kind of gentle, everything. So I'm going to use this. Some rubbing alcohol and see what we can do. And it's definitely removing the oil, but I don't know how good of a job it'll do. But uh, it's looking good until now. I think at the end of everything, I'll remove most of the oil. And it'll look possibly half decent. Like I said, if it's not, uh, I'm probably just going to either get another screen or scrap it for fun. It's an old GPS, so not much value to it. trying to limit scratching and everything which is kind of hard to do but uh, I'll do my best until now it's uh, looking not that bad and uh, honestly the way these things are made uh, it's so surprising how the oil seeped in I think this is as good as it's gonna get. It's not amazing, but not horribly bad. So let's clean the first side of the screen. Like I said, I'm just doing this for fun. It's broken, not worth much. So, if you guys wanna actually, if you guys have anything like this, I suggest to send it to someone who knows what, knows what they're doing, and maybe they'll be able to just replace the screen for you without damaging anything else. I suggest you guys do that instead of this. Oh, it's coming off pretty well. But it's kind of messing up the screen, I think, a little more. But, like I said, it is what it is. <laughs> and if this doesn't work, I'll just make a scrapping video and uh, call it a day. <laughs> so now we clean that side. There's all these little... Any pieces of film. It's they're kind of cleaning, ending up getting clean. Uh, you know, not horribly bad, but uh, they're getting clean slowly. <laughs> Like I said, I'm only doing this because I know it's uh, either this kind of turns out okay or I'm just going to chuck it in the garbage. <laughs> There's no value left to this. Yeah, 
between the, this side and then we have these two guys over here and we'll see what uh, the final result is. Does it look better? Does it look worse? Are we scrapping it for gold and wires and IC chips and other components? Have these two. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. It's going not bad. Not as good as I expected, but not bad. back into place. This goes in. Let's clean this side of it, clean the back side. I think this is going to be a failed experiment, guys. This one's not cleaning very well. Which I kind of expected. It's kind of hard when you're dealing with uh, oil also. If this would have been something else might have been a little easier but uh, yeah, oil is a rough thing to get off of just regular stuff forget about electronics this might still work at the end of the day I don't know if it's gonna look better or worse but what I do know is uh, if I wanted to fix it uh, it's not worth it uh, I just got myself a replacement, so this is, like I said, just for fun. It's also cool seeing how uh, screens in general are made. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, this is not going to come out yet, but at least it will become a scrapping video <laughs> alright so we tried to clean this as best as we can we're gonna just snap this back in we're gonna see what happens There you go. I'm 
almost completely snapped back into place. Got the scotch tape that was kind of holding things together. And let's close this guy up and see if it uh, turns on and looks better. And I highly doubt it's going to look better. <laughs> I'm sure there's people out there that can do a way better job than I just did. But like I said, it's just for fun, killing time while we're stuck inside. Don't even put the top screen because I'll just make a scrapping video out of this. I have another GPS that I'm going to scrap, uh, that I've been holding on to that I'm going to scrap, so. Alright, there you go. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. Actually... Surprisingly, it looks a lot cleaner, but I think I messed up the lighting. I don't get as much light, but everything about it works. And yet, yeah, it, it looks a lot cleaner. That's so surprising. I don't get that cloudy stuff uh, I had seen before. I just lost I just lost, lost the black light the backlight still stuff happening in the background but I just don't see anything so yeah I th th I'd give it a failing repair but it uh, doesn't work doesn't look that bad might uh, tinker around a little longer with it see what I can do so yeah, definitely, you can open these guys and clean it up, and if I can get it to work, I'll add it to the video at the end, and uh, we'll see what, uh, what happens. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so I noticed I had uh, messed up how I placed everything inside, and look how nice it actually came out. I'm extremely surprise there's still it's not perfect but compared to what it was before at the beginning of the video like I showed you guys this looks a lot better and actually I can actually keep it as a backup or vice versa with the one I got uh, I got one nice and cheap I think for 10 bucks so perfect for a backup so let's close this up now we know but now we know even though you open it up you do a bad job at cleaning it, it still comes out to looking a lot better than before. I'm extremely happy with it. So I'm going to shut, shut this uh, off and I'm going to show you guys the internals as much as I can. I'll open it up a little more. Like that, it's not only a uh, fix your yucky GPS screen, but uh, we'll do a scrapping video at the same time. So you guys saw how I opened it up. And right here, there's gold. So great for the gold recovery, guys. And then we have a couple of screws here. And we'll be able to see the other side of the board. And 
obviously there's some cable and the battery I would put this as a cell phone battery board sort takes them as cell phone batteries so that would be a cell phone battery and this board looks really nice for the gold recovery people so we have all the gold here all around the trim the connector here has gold on the other side there's some monolithic capacitors more gold and I'm guessing there's definite this is like a processor of some sort and I'm sure once you pop up this cap there's other IC chips or monolithic capacitors in here too and you have another gold tip connector more gold in here so it's, uh, it's half decent uh, for scrapping you know it doesn't take long to take apart this could be a medium grade board I would say the board sort might consider it uh, peripheral so you maybe put it as a peripheral board or like I said strip all the stuff in here and do your uh, gold refining and monolithic capacitor uh, refining and everything you got the battery here the screen if you have a working screen you can actually sell the working screen uh, I'm not sure how much they would go for I'm guessing maybe 20 bucks I would assume at most I don't see it being worth more than that so overall scrapping one of these is not very time consuming and you get quite a bit of gold out of it and if certain things are working you can even sell the working parts like if the board is working like in my case it would be I'd sell the board scrap the screen because it's messed up and vice versa if the board is messed up and you have the screen you can sell the screen but I find GPS stuff uh, parts in general don't sell very fast and you might uh, just have them sitting there so uh, that's the end of the video officially like subscribe if you have any questions comments suggestions let me know if there's anything you know, 